these sacred lands are who we are. Those are our roots, our foundation. And it's no different than Mount Sinai. Save Oak Flat! Save Oak Flat! Save Oak Flat! So your religion, sacred sites, holy places mean nothing. Corporations like Resolution Copper means more to him. One of RCM's biggest supporters, Senator John McCain, stopped in for a visit. I am so proud. We're going to provide a better life for literally thousands of citizens in my state. You know, what John McCain did is he did a midnight rider into the National Defense Authorization Act for the Southeastern Land Exchange Bill to take away my holy land, to take away my home and who I am. And the callous part of this, the callous part of this is that it's stepped all over basic laws, basic rights, and more importantly, stepped on sovereignty, ignored sacred sites when we should be embracing and protecting our sacred sites, like we embrace and protect our churches, our mosques, our temples, our synagogues. It was made over prophets. So sacred sites, history, cultural resources, they're inconsequential to them. But to us, and to the values of the American people, they're not. This is really a blatant attack on our Indian peoples and our Indian nations. And I'm proud to co-sponsor Ranking Member Grijalva's legislation to right this wrong that has been done and protect our nation's sacred areas and support the needs of our tribal neighbors. If Old Flat gets destroyed, and it, it can't come back. It can't come back. As an Apache girl, that's who I am. That's where I come from. That's the land. Because we are all children of our mother, Mother Earth. This vocal minority is so philosophically opposed to any mining in Arizona, they're willing to throw away the future. These guys are not going to make the change because they're already dirty from what we see. But the only ones that can make a difference today is our children. And that's why we have to focus on our children. And we have to tell them the truth of the way this country was founded. And if we do that, then there is a better tomorrow. And that's the religious journey that we're on. And that's why we're asking all Americans, everyone, to stand up with us. My passion for the future, the, the yet to be born that I want to see, to have, so that they're able to walk on these holy lands with no fear of it being taken away. That's what drives me. That's what pushes me to want to stand up for this, to want to fight for this. Because if I sit here and just let it happen, it's going to continue to happen. So I need to stand up, and that's why I'm here with the Padre Shango. That's why we're all here, is to take that step to stand up for who we are. Hey,